Good afternoon, and welcome to episode 441, and today's topic is um, stop waiting for your prince to come, he's already left. And before I get to that, let me introduce myself and also let you know this is a different time than usual, that's okay. Um, you're watching the replay, that's all good, and you can comment in the comments below. If you're watching on YouTube, you can do the same thing there, and if you're on a podcast, just make some mental notes, since I can't respond to you there. I'll explain all that later on. So, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do these talks on Facebook Live initially called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today is number 441. And the topic today is stop waiting for your prince to come, he's already left. Um, Basically, to put up light a fire under your butt, <laughs> if you're waiting to, for that, you know, suitor to show up, because I've got some thoughts to give you and ideas and suggestions and stuff like that. So, if you're watching me for the first time or listening to me for the first time, this is my daily talk that I do every day, um, seven days a week, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time um, on Facebook Live. However, today, because I have a rather important conference call at 5 p.m., I'm doing it a little bit earlier to get it done before then. So, I'm going to get through this, give me some insights, give me some inspiration, take some questions and offer you some guidance about what steps you can take to get where you want to go. So this is mainly aimed at the single people out there because this is really about um, those of you waiting for your suitor to show up, your prince, your knight, your whatever. And I want to reframe a few things too. So this is mainly for the ladies, but it might be for a man watching this, there'll be insights along the way for you to get some clues, some inspiration and some um, What's we're looking for? Subtle hints. So, hey, honey, good to see you here. Thanks for joining me. Um, so, for the ladies in particular, first of all, I'll need to break this one down. Um, the world has been set up against you, as you may have guessed. In the area of dating and relationships, to be honest, it's been set up for the men. And the challenge with that is, is that women who want to get relationships tend to act like the men, copy the men, do what the men do to get relationship. You may have noticed that. And the reality with this is that there's a price to be paid. And having been in relationships like that in the past, where the women I dated were actually more like men than I was able to act at times, it was a um, switch of polarity, but it was also a dysfunctional way to live and to love. So one of the pieces I want to talk about is there's a distinct um, reminder to you ladies that to focus on what you really want is the key to getting what you want versus chasing what you want. See, most of you have been trained by the way the culture works and by all the dating apps is to actually chase what you want before you know what you want. So you're focused on, Alta, nice to see you my broadcast. Good to see you, my lady, my lady, my love. Nice to see you. Um, I haven't seen you at a cafe for a while. I know you've been busy. So, back in topic. <laughs> so you get distracted with people watching interactively. So, Part of this puzzle is that ladies have been trained and like men to go out and seek partnership, relationship, and basically do what the men do. Ladies make, ladies make this very clear to you. It's the man's job to pursue you. You can drop hints, and I've talked about this before, about the, um, what do I call it, the, the metaf metaphorical handkerchief. Because in the olden days, just quickly recap that one, for those of you who haven't seen my broadcast about that, dating culture or courtship culture required that the man would pursue the woman, which is still true, and the woman would drop a handkerchief to let her know she was interested. That was kind of like the secret, or not so secret, um, signpost to let you know to take a step forward to pursue, to chase, to do what you need to do. Nowadays that's been challenging of course because most people don't have <laughs> handkerchiefs and a lot of people don't know what they mean. So the metaphorical symbol for that has changed. And I don't know if there is one I can represent rec or recognize or um, reference or recommend. It was four hours, it's not bad. But the truth is, is that relationships are not as easy as they used to be in some ways. I mean, they're easier to access because of all the online dating sites and the dating apps on the phones. But to attract a healthy and participatory relationship isn't so easy as it used to be. For a start, it's a very busy landscape out there. If you're single and looking around, you know what I mean. And that makes the choice more challenging. And it's almost the challenges with that choice is that you're going to be, um, well, spoiled for choices is one way of putting it, but the challenge is you're going to start browsing through all these different choices 
and you may not remember or focus on or even have a clue what it is you really want. So ladies, here's a key, here's a key for you, and actually men as well for that matter. If you're looking, if you're single and looking for a relationship, first of all, stop looking. Yes, stop looking. Because what you need, eh, not need, what you prefer to, well, I'm going to say this another way. Let me just reframe this for a second. If you want to have an amazing relationship, scanning through the apps is the first step you shouldn't do. The first step that you benefit from most, you don't want to use that word should too much, is to get clear in your heart what you really want. And I did say in your heart. Not your eyes, not your head, not your loins. In your heart. And I say that intentionally because for most people, relationship is not driven from here. It's driven from further up or further down, just to be transparent about it. And that is an error in approach. And it will get you benefits on certain points. But the thing is, if you're looking for that place, you find a match on that place, you won't find a place everywhere else. Meaning that you may line up mentally, or you may line up, line up sexually, but unless you line up on the heart, it's going to be really hard to have a healthy relationship. So first of all, is to get clear what your heart's vision is. Yes, your heart has vision. It doesn't see the way you think I mean, but it has a vision, it has an intention, it has a desire, it has a dream. And you can access that by tapping inside. A part of you knows what you really want, but you don't know until you ask it. So by asking inside what you really want, you start building a vision, a intention, a description of the future that you want to bring into your reality. So that's first. And both men and women can do that. That's a unisex approach. Then when you're armed with this vision, and really what you would like to call it is in sense, is the, is the map you look through, or the lens you look through. So when you're out dating, or going to social engagements, or looking on apps, or whatever it is you're doing, you know more clearly if you are lining up with this energy of the person you're meeting very quickly because you have a sense of what you're looking for. And it's that um, pre-work, so to speak, that is the governing guidance that will lead you where you want to go. Again, if you're just browsing through the apps without any, any clarity and you go somewhere, oh, they're cute, I can guarantee you pretty much nine times out of ten, that very cute person you see out there will not be a long-term partner that you really want. You'll be driven by something short-term and most likely from something in your subconscious you haven't worked out the kinks of yet. So, clear vision first, not browsing first. That reversal alone will change your daily life, I know, for the better. Another thing I want to throw in there, just as a reminder for the ladies in particular, is I talked about in the title about your princess left. I said that's good news. Here's the key, here's the thing. Ladies, you have to remember something. You are not a princess. You may act like one, but you're not a princess. And because, I can say it's another way. Ladies, you are queens. So to settle for a prince is lowering your station. It's a hold out for a king. And I mean this in a metaphorical sense, of course. But the reality of owning your power, owning your magnificence, is a key part of relationships. And if you're someone who has been thinking that you're in for your hero, your prince, your knight to come, then you're a prin princess or a or a, or a um, a wench that's playing down to lower level than you really belong. So own your power, own your magnificence, own your truth, and own who you really are. So when you're out in the courting arena, when you're out dating, you hold a, sta a standing and a status that's high enough that only the men who step up to that level can meet you at. The ones below that level, you can ignore them because you deserve the best. Let me be that clear. So I've given you the idea of reversing the sequence, and I've sort of talked about having this true understanding that you're a queen, not a princess, because most of you, unfortunately, are, um, how do I say this, programmed with, with the wrong program. You need to get rewired. And basically the recognition is that you are a queen, not a princess. That will hopefully start rewinding things in your head. And basically, if you work with me, I'll give you a lot more support in the area. But if you can sit with that for a while and just understand what it feels like to be a queen versus a princess, the energy will shift inside of you automatically. But if you want to go deeper, reach out to me. So a couple of quick things to wrap this up, I've got to get going because I've, I've, I've got a video conference at 5 that I've got to take care of, which is why I'm doing this broadcast earlier than usual. Um, I mentioned at the beginning that you need to be sure about what you want. Ladies in particular, you, your power is in your ability to attract what you want. Us men have the ability to focus and get a lens and clarity of where we want to go. That's a different thing. It's a roadmap to where we want to go and what we want to get, it, what sort of relationship we want. But ladies, your actual ability is to get a vision that pulls it in different energetics. So ladies, you put your vision in, you build that intention in, you get clarity and you retrieve what you attract what you want. So you definitely want to have a clear, as I mentioned, heart's vision. 
And if you don't have that, it's going to be hard to get focused, as you may well know from your own experience. So, a couple of quick things to summarize. First of all, if you don't know what you want, you're never going to get there. That's a simple truth. And if you don't have clarity that's heart-based, you're going to find yourself choosing relationships that don't support your heart. Kind of obvious as well. So how do you get there? I recognize that at least in my, my own um, program development, that there are a good eight that I use. Eight keys along the way that, excuse me, eight modules along the way to get you where you want to go. If you want to know how to get from here to there in a relationship, um, my program is called Attract the Man You Want for that reason, because it creates the vision that I mentioned, heart's vision that actually magnifies and polarizes your energy to pull in what you really want. If you're interested in that, reach out to me, I'll tell you more about it. If you don't have clarity about that, time to get clear. Secondly, focus on how it is important to be a queen, not a, not a, not a princess, because that's a different shift in your energy right there. And thirdly, Make sure you put your intention before your browsing. That's a clear piece too. And again, heart's vision, heart's intention, heart's desire, not, oh, they're cute. You know what I mean? So with that, I want to summarize, say thank you for watching my broadcast. This is my daily Facebook Live number 441 for messages to the masculine to inspire the feminine heart. This will show up on YouTube and on my podcast as well as here on Facebook. So quick tips, by the way. Um, if you want help in this area and you're a bit stuck, I do offer a free discovery session. That's one of the things I offer right up the bat. If you want to get help in that, go to my website, barryselby.com forward slash chat. And that program I mentioned, by the way, is barryselby.com forward slash ATM. Yes, Attract the Man, that's what it stands for. Um, with that, oh yes, find my broadcasts. My broadcasts are on Facebook Live, Facebook Lives, where I do them initially, and they then go on my business page on Facebook, so you can watch them on there, which is barryselby.author. Please follow me there, or what's the word? Um, like my page. There you go. Barry Selby, the author. If you're watching on YouTube, you can watch this on my uh, Messages to the Masculine channel under the, under, sorry, Messages to the Masculine playlist under Barry Selby, which is the channel on YouTube. You can also subscribe to my podcast on iTunes, which is Messages for the Masculine. That's the kind of name I use. Um, they're slowly getting loaded up there, not as quickly as they're on YouTube because these are every day. I upload to my podcast about every month, so it takes a while to get them up there. Um, and that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below. If you want to share this with anybody, please share it with them. If this resonates for you, please reach out to me for help. And if you don't care about this, then why are you watching? <laughs> I appreciate you being here. Thanks for being, as always, a fan and supporter of my work. I love what you're, I love you being with me on this broadcast. It's always a discovery session for me too. And um, with that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be 5 p.m. Pacific time, just so we know, back to the normal time. And join me tomorrow live on Facebook. I'll see you again then. Bye.